last vlogmas and the vlogmas merry christmas happy holidays my ladies i hope you had the most fabulous festive season with your loved ones and i also wanted to thank you for spending your time with me this december and all of the vlogs and all of the time we spend together it really means a lot to me that you chose to watch like an hour long vlog it really means the world to me and that was your gift to me like all of the love on my content this year all of the likes the comments the shares like it truly means the world to me and i'm excited to see what 2024 i almost said 2025 yikes <laughs> what 2024 holds for us leafies and our little community and just our little family here but yeah the festive season is all about family and we know what christmas is about but receiving little gifts <laughs> it's like my love language i love it and i got some lovely gifts from brands that i'm gonna show you in this vlog and just like christmas prep and christmas and just celebrating with my loved ones and to start off because i just did my hair I'm gonna do a quick little video for Kira Stars to thank you them, to thank them for this stunning little gift that they sent me. It says with love, and a couple of EVs have sent me pictures and like tagged me in stories that you got this. So I'm so happy with you, my EVs. Uh, how stunning! Like the pink and the red is just like it's giving Christmas. It's giving a girly Christmas, and I'm here for it. I love this. I got the Chroma Absolute range, which I absolutely love. I've tried it before. They've also included like a little handwritten note just to say thank you for all of the content in 2023 and how excited they are for 2024. Oh my goodness. I'm so imagine my peaches. <laughs> they are from HM by the way. So I'm gonna quickly film a little video to thank your stars for the gift. Like a little feast of piece of content and then ladies we need to brace ourselves for the shops to get some ingredients for the Christmas meals. What a feeling now it's time for Christmas and Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come, yeah let it come did my hair today i don't know what is going on this humidity is just not having it with my hair so i'm gonna have to redo it tonight or tomorrow morning so tomorrow we're hosting our first little christmas so we have obviously two celebrations one will be here just like very small just my sister-in-law coming and baby nephew and um then on christmas day we are going to the in-laws so excited um my dad's not here for christmas um and i don't know what everyone else is doing but we got invited to christmas with the duplessis ne duplessis <laughs> and my first christmas as a missus <laughs> we are gonna get started though on the snack things that we are taking on christmas day because yeah it's a lot of labor it's like those little toothpicks with the piece of cheese um the different colors of onions and then like chicken sausage 
the rice I'm gonna put in the fridge. Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it. I quickly wanted to show you, Brayden and I made these last night. This is for Christmas Day on Monday. It's Saturday today and we are having my sister-in-law and baby nephew over for a little Christmas lunch. And I'm cooking gammon. I've never cooked gammon before, so I'm a little bit nervous. It's only like 9 or 10 o'clock, but I want to make sure that it's cooked because it's an uncooked gammon. The rest of the ingredients, I cheated and really made use of woolies and their incredible festive things. Bren is actually looking for, he's at the shops now, he has to get like ice, wood, like things we need for this morning. We are also going to make like a little cocktail, like welcome drink. Um, and this is for, like I said, for Christmas Day. So we're not hosting Christmas Day. We are going to, oh, he's sending me pictures for what I need. So I want, um, like a, what is he sending me? So I want like a cone that looks like a Christmas tree so that I can literally pop all of these wood. All of these in, I don't know how many we made, but I'm thinking close to 150 of these little sticks. My mom used to literally force the, she had her own Santos workshop with the whole family making these for Christmas. So this is very, very nostalgic to me. And we've been making it since her passing. Like, I think this is the fourth year. So yeah, it's just kind of keeping her alive in like the smallest, little way um and i just think of her whenever i eat them and brain loves them like i think brain alone eats like 30 <laughs> like on christmas so i really want to make it look pretty i want to put it like in a little tree like on a bed of like lettuce or a bed of rosemary husband's calling you're my lady that back into the fridge brain can't find what i'm looking for but luckily we have tomorrow to still figure out how i'm gonna present those little toothpick things so the cocktail i i don't know what we're gonna do for the welcome drink but this is the presentation so i did this last night i just put a little bit of water so like an ice block filtered water and then i put pomegranate seeds and three cherries so that I can stick the rosemary in the middle so that it can stay up and then I just pop it into the freezer overnight and I just think this makes the cutest little welcome drink I saw it on TikTok I see a lot of things on TikTok even this gammon I'm making I mean who knew that you could use apple juice for gammon so I'm really just crossing my fingers I'm not following any recipes I'm just kind of getting inspiration and then making it my own so now i need to boil first peel and then boil the potatoes to get them nice and soft so that i can grill them a little bit later mm
got guests coming and she wants to, to film. <laughs> I'm a content creator by heart. My life revolves. Okay. E content. <laughs> How is this looks? Does it look cute? Hmm. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah, it's Merry Christmas, baby. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Literally just lit every single ooh, this is gonna be hot. Every single festive candle in the house I used the blowtorch. It's always next to the lighter, but I can see the lighter over there in the bri room. And I'm too lazy to open the gate and the doors to get it. I just used this, but it reminded me that I haven't made my creme brulee in such a long time. So hopefully I can make that in the next couple of days but yeah this using this thing is just oh, gives me anxiety because you can literally hurt yourself so easily with that you have to be so careful but it lights a candle <laughs> just like that just like it can burn your finger off just like that so i'm gonna make um tomorrow is christmas tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me <laughs> So I'm making like a little pumpkin and sweet potato bake with marshmallows on top, I thought. So we've had this a couple of years ago. One aunt made it and she used sweet potato and normal marshmallows. So I thought kind of making it my own and then pumpkin and 
sweet potato with coconut marshmallows on top and I, I just feel like doing something because I've literally been laying in bed and on the couch like alternating between the two the whole day this morning Bryn and I cuddled a little bit and then he really wanted me to open his Christmas gift to me which we we discussed that we weren't going to give each other anything because of the year we've had we're just so thankful to have each other so it's like we're each other's gifts you know and two he literally spoiled me so much with my birthday but he decided to extend my stack and i think the diamond and the gold chain just it looks so beautiful and i'm i'm just in love i literally cannot stop staring at my arm but anyways we're gonna cook brain is actually playing golf right now so we were cuddling this morning and then he was like what are we gonna do today and i just said to him you know what tomorrow is gonna be such a busy day i just want to chill today and then we chilled for a little bit and then he was like i think i'm gonna go play golf i'm like you do you boo like i am gonna watch christmas movies trash tv cooking shows i am okay like you go do that as long as you come back to me and cuddle me tonight i am happy so he should actually be back shortly and then also so i'm making this this is my contribution our contribution and then we made those little sticks which sadly we couldn't find the cone to make like a christmas tree thing so i don't know maybe i'll tiktok some ideas to maybe see if i can diy it or i'm just gonna place it on a pretty platter and serve it like that and then i'm also making mussels so i have all of the ingredients i just need to make it i'm not sure you know when you make a stew or a poiki or like some sort of pot dish that has like a sauce it's always better the next day even like potato salad or like this type of thing or big, something that's been standing for a little bit or overnight it's always better the next day i don't know why but i don't know if it applies to fish so we'll have to google that but <laughs> we can get started on this first so you and i are going to cook Tomorrow together it is christmas because my hair just doesn't do anything like with this weather it frizzes and like goes poofy so yeah I decided to just put it like up and I have a cute little bow and uh, we just arrived at church Merry Christmas baby Merry Christmas baby The snow is laying two feet deep 
Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true We are home from church and we are changing our outfits and coming to fetch the mussels and like all of the food I made and I'm also wrapping some gifts and we're also playing like a little bit of a Christmas roulette so we got a bunch of random gifts we're gonna wrap them now but I'm busy importing the photos we just took I had to take advantage of us looking so festive and just so like festive glam Bren looked so nice he's changing into the outfit I originally got him to wear today, but because it was a bit cold today, we kind of switched up our outfits. I just wanted to wear like, originally just wanted to wear sandals and have like a summer Christmas vibe, but because it was cold, I had to wear like a little bit of a something over the shoulders and then I just put together his outfit and our pictures. Oh my goodness. There's something that happens when So we have a couple of duds and then we have a couple of nice things like here's this little jelly toy we're gonna do tabasco i've done a bunch of things already i have a bunch of makeup hand cream nail polish mascara face masks we're gonna do a couple of texas and bar ones just like it's just gonna be fun it's not Oh, and I got this pot plant thingy. So it's just fun. It's not like anything major and anything. Mm. Keep everyone entertained. And then we have the egg, which is going to be so funny. A few weeks ago, I wouldn't have done this because eggs were really expensive. <laughs> they were gold. Gold in a shell. But I think it'll be funny to... And the fact that everything is like individually wrapped, Brain at first didn't want to, but I convinced him. <laughs> no? You just, you just said no because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But, I mean, we didn't get, we didn't do gifts this year, no, no one did gifts. No, I think no one did gifts. We are. Because <laughs> everyone just said like, bring a secret Santa. So we have a secret Santa. Um, I did a mill set from Pick and Pay and then a coffee press. So it's like, it's unisex gifts. Um, so it can be for him or her. <laughs> now, but you're going to know it's an egg if you get it. So the Christmas party is only starting, I think in like 30 minutes or so. So we're just gonna finish this up. I'm not doing this like aesthetic or pretty at all. It's just fun. So how it's gonna work is we have like little cups like this and then all of the gifts are gonna go underneath. And then we have an old egg tray that I kept and then we're gonna put numbers in it and it's gonna correspond with the numbers on the cups and then you're gonna hop a little ball and then it's gonna hop in it's like christmas roulette is that what it's called no. we saw it on tiktok and we thought it was fun and <laughs> we didn't like properly plan it um because i don't think a lot of planning is necessary it's just like even if you have a bunch of stuff laying around the house like all of this makeup like it's brand new makeup that i haven't used so it's like a nice way of just like little doodles. I think it's quite fun. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, I think it's a very cool idea. Well, it was your idea. Brings a bit of excitement. Excitement. <laughs> Plan is to obviously Yay. pop it in. Yay. Okay, now you need to write the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put money in some and just newspaper <laughs> some of the other ones oh that's gonna be so funny money and some newspaper 
<laughs> some of the other ones. Oh, this is gonna be fun, Lippy. Yeah, well, I was planning on doing it outside. Yeah, I don't know where we're gonna do it. But. Because of the rain. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star. So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh There's a ring when December is When the children are singing, yeah It's Merry Christmas, baby Christmas gammon with scrambled eggs this morning. We had a proper Boxing Day yesterday. What is it? like? What do people do on Boxing Day anyway? Watch sport. Watch sport. We just chilled and we just did absolutely nothing. Brain is back at work today. I'm gonna enjoy the last bit of December and declutter. Mm -hmm. December declutter. Okay. You could lie, but lying only buys you so much time. You could hurt, but hurting's never gone. You could shake and try and shake it off all you can. I think I actually forgot to show you when I did this, but I nearly I was so close to taking all of the bubbles off, like close to Christmas. And then one night I just decided to put these up with the bubbles, and I think it has to be my favorite addition to the tree this year so yeah i just wanted to share that with you definitely doing this again next year so just a little idea for your tree for next year my sister-in-law also said that she never actually thought of putting faux roses on a tree especially red roses because it's so associated with valentine's and love but i really loved it making such good progress packing everything away and ah, love a good clean mess you might fake It's never gonna make you understand I don't care what you do But here's a tip for me to you Look your failures in the eye Only a way to say goodbye Once you lift them from your heart You could have a brand new start, it's true <laughs> I'm watching the parent trap and i just finished watching hannah montana i don't know just a little bit of a dizzy nostalgia going on today as i clean and declutter a little bit of a clean mess like i said and by the way i don't think i've ever done a christmas and let's take down the christmas tree somewhere in one vlog i've never i don't think i've ever done that usually wait until the new year 
and then kind of do a reset but i just i felt like i wanted to start the new year already with all of that done so we have a couple of days left until the new year so i really just want to declutter and also you'll laugh at me this was in my cart since november and then my camera broke just over a week ago so i ordered a new one but because of christmas and all of that the deliveries were a little bit delayed but i got myself a little christmas gift so i got a new camera so we'll unbox that a little bit later but this was in my cart so i just checked out it wasn't on the tree this year but it's okay at least i have it and then i can put it on the tree next year it's just a little ornament <laughs> that says our first christmas as mr and mrs so I'll put it in the box but at least like I can write the date on but it wasn't on the tree this year but it was in my cart at least that counts for something but yeah let's finish the cleaning <laughs> this is real as much as anything you'll ever feel not that safe without those pretty secrets you conceal could be hell you're shutting someone up that knows you well tear you apart pull you from the end back to the start Like French pink I'll do the other Frenchies maybe with you in the next vlog where we kind of reset for the year but yeah I sold both sets of kitchen island chairs and it feels really good I'm excited to get new ones with you I have a couple of um, styles in mind but yeah my these happy new year Brain and I literally spent our new year's and the last day of 2023 in bed we were just so chilled we didn't know what to do like 
a lot of people, our friends and some of our family were away and we really just didn't want to be on the road. We even considered going to Cape Town for two nights, just spontaneously fly to Cape Town, but there was zero accommodation and bookings available to stay over at like a, we wanted to stay close to the V&A waterfront. Um, because they normally do like something extravagant there but that didn't work out and I also started my period was delayed sorry TMI but the reason why I can just feel that this year is gonna be this year I'm saying this year because it's the new year <laughs> we're already in like a week into January and I've just been Taking a little bit of a breather, I've done a lot of organizing by myself, just in my own like head and just kind of decluttering and just trying to reset. So I'll do a couple of reset things with you in my New Year's vlog. We can do some things together, but I feel like sometimes you just have to be, um, you know, I, I don't look really pretty today, but I feel like you have to look ugly and just not vibe with anything and just not have a cute outfit on and just like feel messy, feel dirty and just like get into the cleaning. Um, so that was me the past couple of days and the start of January. And yeah, we really enjoyed our um, end to the year and the start of a new one. And what I was trying to say is that I think 2024 is going to be such a great year because number one, it started on a Monday. Number two, my period was delayed by probably four-ish days so that it can start on a new moon, a new year, like a new page. And I feel like that just speaks. I don't know about you, but I see, I don't know, I just, I feel energy in these kind of things. Like, you know, whenever there's like the same like angel numbers on the time i don't know i just it kind of gives me i don't know some people might think i'm crazy but i just feel like it's it's gonna be a good year because of some things and we had the most amazing 2023 i still want to sit down and just chat to you about the year um so definitely let me know if you or maybe i'll do something on instagram or i'll just do like a recap of the year because it was one of the best and one of the worst years of my entire life but I think I want to sit down and just chat a little bit with you. I also a little bit of a spoiler alert, which I think you'll be very happy with. I want to prioritize YouTube this year because I feel like I really, I did like a little poll today um, on Instagram where I asked you like, what is, what is it that you enjoy most um of my content and so many of you said that you really just enjoy me here on youtube because i'm so much more chilled and i feel like instagram is a little bit uptight i agree with you it is a little bit uptight but it's it's where i can express myself in a very aesthetic and perfectionist way but i want to kind of shy away from that a little bit this year like i want to post like a very random vloggy that i did on my phone cleaning my house i did one on tiktok that i actually really really loved um it was literally just asmr vibes and i just cleaned the house after we had a few friends over that came back from their away time over the Christmas period and we just had them over and I was so like not into cleaning I never go to bed with leaving the house like this but I just I just felt like you know what Brendan and I can actually spend time together let's leave the kitchen let's just leave the kitchen literally go to bed and we'll worry about it tomorrow and I woke up I felt so inspired to clean and it was so satisfying to like do a little video so I want to do more things like that this year um I want to come on here and I've said this so many times I'm such a perfectionist so for me to like just hi <laughs> I have nothing like groomed on my face I don't think I even brushed my hair today I literally just put it in like it's hair wash day so i'm gonna wash my hair a little bit later and i've also kind of 
saved it to possibly do it with you on my new year's reset so yeah i just i've shoved my hair up and i just i've had a little bit of a few days of just trying to see where i can organize a little bit but i left some of the organizing to do with you there's like some cupboards that i found um like packages from brands that i forgot about and i mean these are the things that some of the brands sent me as gifts um in the beginning of the, of, the, of december that i didn't even unbox with you and obviously because the rainy season um trenton and hunter sent me something and it's been raining like absolute crazy so yeah it just says happy holidays so yeah i want to do a lot more of this this year and just prioritize youtube is what i was trying to say i always said before tiktok came out i said um if another social media platform pops up i'm quitting i'm quitting my job <laughs> because it's too much it's literally too much to do instagram youtube tiktok uh what is it called threads like what in the world like i am just like i'm trying to just spend this year to i think i all throughout um you know soon after brain's health started looking a little bit better and we that's also a reason why the house kind of slipped because there's so many cupboards that um just random stuff um that i just yeah I'm gonna redo some of the cupboards so I had to kind of get that mess out of it and the spare bedroom is like a big one because it's like a spare cupboard so whenever we don't know where to put something it just goes in there and brands are so kind to always gift me stuff and which I'm very very thankful for but sometimes it does get a lot and I say no to a lot of things because I just last year I just unfortunately didn't have the capacity for a lot of things mentally emotionally but i feel like i'm finally kind of getting back to the swing of things brain's health is looking amazing and i know i said i wanted to sit down and chat with you and just like do like a little bit of a catch-up and on my instagram thingy um you literally said that you want more like sit down like chatty stuff which i'm definitely gonna do this year like i promise i'm gonna do a lot more of that this year um but yeah i just i feel like i feel a bit more like myself lately and a lot of that stems from just going offline a little bit and just having a little bit of a, a, a hiatus hiatus i think that's how you say it um and just finding yourself again and just kind of it's like um absence grow absence makes the heart grow fonder that's exactly what it is we booked a little family um vacation because we obviously couldn't go away because of brain's leave situation because he had quite a bit of um you know time away from work within his health so we were working all throughout december but we took a week and we're gonna go on a little vacation a family vacation upcoming it's the first day back at the office today how you doing <laughs> so i got um this beautiful gift from Hunter. So it looks like this. And I've always wanted these. Like, oh my goodness, I am in love. And since it's rainy season, I'm so excited to style them. And so many of you ladies said in my little Instagram question thingy that you want more fashion content you want the og jess doing like makeup looks makeup tutorials like getting ready with you and just like all of that so i'm really really excited um i'm gonna spend some time also during my um week away you know we're gonna spend time with family and i also just want to kind of think and I can do that with you probably in the next vlog when we um, just 
talk about the new year and just have a little bit of a catch up um what i want to do this year and like how i want to plan my year i kind of started opening this just to check if it is indeed what i think it is so my lovely family at brutal fruit they said that they wanted to gift me with a bottle signed by kelly Rowland. it has my name on the top it says jessica <gasps> I'll wait to see what this looks like. Oh, oh my gosh. It's an actual, just like the one that I shot content with, but this is mine. How special is this? Oh my goodness, this is going to be one of those things that hopefully in our dream home we have like a really beautiful bar like styling area area and then i can put this up and i can show it to my children one day and be like hey roland sign this for me and i can be all cool and bougie and my kids will think that i am like the best <laughs> thank you so much brutal fruits oh my goodness that's such a beautiful beautiful gift oh and i got a fragrance from DKNY, I quickly, oh, and another thing that you said, I literally just posted this um, this morning and got so many responses about um, fashion, more vloggies, um, more chill days, more sit downs, um, and more babysitting, <laughs> more babies. So I babysat, Brain and I um, looked after a little family member, the little girl that I got the dresses for. She turned one just before Christmas and um, yeah, we were like mini parents <laughs> slash aunt and uncle for two days and my goodness, I slept like a baby last night. Like having children not that i would know what that feels like but yo they are busy i literally take my hat off to each and every mom and dad out there you are doing amazing they are so busy oh my goodness like i literally i thought i could just like work while i look after this little baby make sure her nappy has changed make sure she's fed i mean how hard could it be it's hard it's hard like i really had like a little bit of a reality check i was like this shit is hard so all of the moms and dads you are doing amazing just having them fed and just like doing one thing for yourself is an accomplishment because you're but it was so fun like it was so fun i really just like i, I kind of lived out if i was a mom you know like i did a little bit of content because i didn't vlog um so i did share like a little bit of stories on instagram and that's also something that you asked to come back a little bit more of the in real life in moment stories i don't do that too much because um i find that if i do too many stories on instagram i'm i'm kind of spoiling it for the vlog and i really want to have you leafies like see it first here on youtube so i'm gonna try and like balance it um but yeah i'm really thinking of my you see more baby content more auntie jess <laughs> more fragrance reviews which i'm gonna do with you now i quickly pulled up the um I'll put it on the screen for you. How cute is this bottle? So I wasn't able to attend this event during the festive season because um, I was just, you know, I was so booked and I was so busy, but the brand was so kind enough to send this to me to try. So thank you to them. And this is called DKNY Be Delicious Orchid Street. It's a fruity, woody, um, sweet, fresh, spicy, citrus, white, floral, fresh scent. And the notes are, top notes, apple, pink grapefruit. Ooh, this is like a clean day scent. Like, you know when you're just looking like this and you don't have any makeup on, but you still want to kind of feel like a clean girl. And then middle notes, pomegranate, raspberry, jasmine, and orris. Base notes of cedar wood and leather. I love leather. 
let's just let it let it let it breathe for a little bit what does jack and Hill say like if you hug someone oh you smell good oh you smell so clean girl what are you wearing <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jacqueline Hill says. She's like, she sprays it and then she pretends to hug someone <laughs> so that she can smell what it smells like. That's so funny. This is such a cute bottle. So cute. It just looks like a little apple with apples on them. This is the 30 ml, and I quickly searched. It goes for $9.99, $9.90, $9.50. And I love like the dry down of it so far it's only been like a minute or two but the opening is like quite fresh quite fruity sweet and then when it dries down you really get like a little bit of a woodiness and leather to it so i think i'll wear this you know when it's like when you want to feel like that clean girl aesthetic not today though i don't feel like i look like a clean girl today like my hair is not brushed or anything but you know like when you're wearing like jeans and a t-shirt or when you're wearing like a gym outfit like gym aesthetic vibes or if you're going to the gym i like wearing fragrances to the gym but i'll have to come back to you on like my review of this i'll probably do that on tiktok and just share like a little bit of a wear because we've already done so much in this vlog and i want to get this up for you leafies i want to finish the editing um so i'll do that on tiktok what i also did on tiktok was the unboxing of my new camera so i ended up getting the um canon power shot v10 vlogging kit I saw a couple of girls vlogging with this at recent events and I was just like, is it even good? Because like it doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, you can't like this one. Excuse for the way this looks. Look at this. It literally like this whole screen broke off. The camera still works. It's just this little thing completely snapped off. It fell on a very awkward angle. So and it fell from like the table and it fell like this so it just snapped off the camera still works i just have to either get the screen fixed because i tried to just order the same camera and they don't actually make these anymore um so if i don't end up liking this um i don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah i unboxed it it's it says designed for vlogging and i really want to push myself out of my comfort zone because I'm such a perfectionist, like the lighting, the angles, and I'm really just trying to step out of it because perfectionism really, really holds me back sometimes. And I really want to prioritize perfection, prioritize participation over perfection this year. And really just like show up, no matter what the lighting does or how crap the sun is showing up for me so yeah this is what it looks like the camera was in there and then it actually came with a bunch of things it came with a lens protector it came with like little um mic furries i haven't used that yet um i haven't really vlogged with the camera much so in the next vlog i will see if i can vlog with it a little bit and then it came with a carry bag so this is what it looks like it's just like a little it looks like a phone almost and then you literally just like flip it over and it has a stand like at the moment you're balancing on a tissue and like a little bit of a box to like tilt you up a little bit so i like that this has a little bit of a stand so it can tilt and then this is like the little wind if it's like really windy you can pop those on there so i'm excited maybe i should switch her on and continue the vlog from this little camera what do you say i think so is this thing on okay <laughs> how does this look hmm. okay got that okay so what were we saying so yeah carry bag oh my goodness this feels so weird but i really hope that i like this i haven't 
like played with this at all i don't know if the stabilization is okay so yeah with this one um it's only f stop 2.8 which with the um or whereas with the the canon g7x mark 3 you could go down to 1.5 which that kind of gives you that depth of field um and you could zoom with this one you can't really zoom you'll have to bring the camera closer but i don't know maybe it'll get me out of my um comfort zone in terms or like out of my um bubble to have things a certain way a certain color frame and a certain like tone and like all of that so i really just want to vlog more and just show up more and just not have perfectionism hold me back and rather just you know keep participating so i hope you ladies will be happy with that it really is hard like being perfect being a perfectionist really does like affect your daily life um but i feel like this is a platform where we can talk about all of that and just be open and be honest and just kind of relate to one another so that's the new camera ladies i have one more thing to share with you oh and i I got the Lancome um, advent calendar, which I did share with you, but I haven't showed you like exactly what's in it. And I think this is also an advent calendar because the house is a little bit of a mess or was a little bit of a mess. Um, leave a mini camera. How's Look it. it. This is cool. Oh. It's so cool. Um, so because the house was a little bit of a mess, like with the festive busyness, I kind of forgot about this. So L'Oreal sent me a little gift and it was also an advent calendar. And I only noticed it when I saw someone else's video. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot L'Oreal said that they were going to send me an advent calendar and I completely forgot to unbox it. So that is what we are going to do right now. So. I got a little advent calendar from L'Oreal. How stinking cute is that? So I thought we could, because I really just like, I kind of unboxed that in my own privacy and just enjoyed it instead of just feeling the pressure that I had to show up in a certain way and look a certain way and like look cute and, um, you know, make, you know, the brand proud and all of that. So I'm really just trying to just whatever the day brings at me and just bring you along for it so dun dun okay so <laughs> let's just do it from left to right so number 10 we have oh my goodness this is gonna take forever ah it's stuck my finger is stuck we have an infallible, oh, I love these, infallible grip gel eyeliner. Then number six, we have a coal paradise, it's like a navy blue. My mom used to love navy blue liners. And then we have a little lash paradise. We have a little Lash Paradise No Clump Mascara. Number one. I'm so sad that I didn't, like, I completely forgot about this. Ooh, this is nice. Look at this packaging. That is pretty. Let's see what the focusing does. Is it focusing? The screen is much smaller than <laughs> what I'm used to, but the focus seems to be really good. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then we have... Ooh, glycolic bright. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. And then we have a little lipstick. Oh, I have so many of these. I love these. Such a good red lippy. Ooh, 12 is a big one. Because this was kind of 12 days of Christmas. And I just... Oh, that's the thing like if you're not organized let me tell you things can slip and then you just miss out on things a little mask then number eight I'm trying to do this so you can see Ooh, a 
another one of the Lush Paradise liners, but this is the black one. And then we have a few more to go. Oh my goodness, this packaging is so stunning. What are you getting in the fridge fast? What did you do with uh, Willie's order today? I did not do Willie's order today. <laughs> A ski sleepy. We can go to the shops now. Then we also got a Lash Paradise. Ooh, a blue one of the gel liner. This one is nice. It's same as the black one. It has like a little smudger. So if you're doing a smoky eye, you can literally just do a little bit of the liner and then you can just like smudge it out. I always do it with my finger, but this works so much better. Trust me. Ooh, a little blue moment. And then last but not least, we have a Perfect Slim by Super Liner. So I'm assuming this is like a liquid liner. Ooh, look at that tip. Really, really good. And that is it. And now I'm sadly going to throw this away. But this was such a cute little gift. Thank you, L'Oreal, because you're worth it. Thank you so much for the reminder. I just had a, a little chat with my friend Karishma um, about the year and all of that and I just reminded her like how valued she is and like that she needs to just remember that she's worth it and it's going to be a great year and I'm excited to just like spend the year with her and all of you leafies of course and then yeah the Lancome one you can kind of see what it is that I got in this one but that is it my leafies for this vlog I want to edit this all and just get it up for you if there's anything that you want to see from me this year that um, you haven't shared with me I'm gonna keep an eye on the Instagram story that I shared and then I'll make notes and just like spend some time the next couple of days to just plan my year and officially start the vlogs for 2024 I am wishing you the best best year ahead and I'm so excited to spend it with all of you ladies. Love you. Bye.